there and welcome to this lesson. This is all about key stage three maths, long division. Now, a lot of you probably don't use long division. You may use short division or bus stop techniques, but long division is important and is part of the curriculum. So we have to go through this. Now, if you're finding long division as a technique, very complicated, very difficult, you don't have to do it, but it will be good if you just go into the flow or maybe try to work out how these questions are actually done. Let's look at the first question. So. Jamie's expensive Apple Mart is having a winter sale. He's offering a bumper pack of 21 apples for 25 pound, 20 pence. How much is this per apple? Okay, so let's start with the first question and show you how this is done. So we have 25 pounds and 20 pence here, divided by 21 apples. So we're trying to work out the cost price or per apple. So how many times can 21 divide into 25? So we know that 21 divides into 25 once. So we just write 21 times one is 21, okay? And now we're just gonna find out the difference between 25 and 21, which is four. And we just stick the four here. Now, because we're moving on from 25, you've got this decimal place there. So let's stick this decimal place on top here, okay? Now we're going on to the next number, which is two, can 21, divide into two, no, it can't by itself, but we still got the four underneath here. So let's join the two here with four to make 42. How many times can 21 divide into 42? Well, 21 goes into 42 twice. So we will now write down here, 21 times two is 42. And that's that done. And we only have the last zero remaining here. What do we do with that zero? Well, that zero can just come up here to make one pound and 20 pence. So per apple, the cost will be one pound and 20 pence. Please look at the image here as well. That shows you how to do long division. And if you want to get into the flow and you want to try this as a new technique, by all means do so. If you do struggle, don't worry. We'll be going through these questions individually one by one in class. Thank you.